Hi, it's Brian from iSpring, and this time we'll help you troubleshoot your iSpring add-in if it disappears from your PowerPoint ribbon. Now this kind of thing rarely happens, but here are a couple of common ways you can fix this problem. When you download an iSpring PowerPoint add-in from the iSpring website, it should automatically detect your system, but you might also want to double check. The 64-bit version will have x64 in the file name, and the 32-bit version won't. You should install the 64-bit version if you have 64-bit Windows and PowerPoint. Otherwise, you should use the 32-bit version. Let's see how to check your Windows and PowerPoint. The most reliable way to access the Windows system information is to hold the Windows key and press the pause button on your keyboard, but you can also get there by pressing the Windows key and typing system. Okay, so it says I have a 64-bit operating system. So now all I have to do is check my PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint 2016 for this tutorial, but you can find this information in other versions as well. Just go to the File menu and go to Account. Now click About PowerPoint, and there we go. We've got a 64-bit version. Remember, if you don't have 64-bit Windows and PowerPoint, you should use the 32-bit version of iSpring, which doesn't have x64 in the installation file name. Now, if you have the right version and it's still not on your PowerPoint ribbon, you might want to go over here to Options and check the add-ins. Here's a list of all your add-ins, and you may see that iSpring is in the Disabled list. In that case, just pick Disabled Items from the drop-down here and click Go. Select your iSpring add-in and click Enable. Now you can close out of here and restart PowerPoint. And now your iSpring tab should appear on the PowerPoint ribbon. Thanks for watching! Now you should be able to rescue your iSpring add in from the abyss. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.